You're watching the Perth Racing Preview. And just another reminder to the racing guide up there in Singapore. It is the best publication available. And it's available from all the usual outlets for uh, 7-Eleven and newsstands. And all the winners and information you need are in the racing guide, including the speed maps that Dion Luciani puts together painstakingly every Thursday morning and doing a wonderful job finding out where they'll be in the run. Righto, race number seven, the Face Your Fears Handicap, another Cool Guardy Cup winner. And uh, we'll take a look at the past runs of Changing Lanes and Stratozoa. Foxy Boy resumes for Heck McLaren, a class performer on his day. Uh, your classy thing was disappointing last start. There were no excuses there. My Leo is resuming. Woodgrain uh, for Johnny Parker was OK at the trial, showed a bit of pace. Ranchers Boy prefer him over a little longer ground, but his trial and his first up run was quite good. Haven't seen Black Douglas for a while. And uh, down the bottom to Ready for Luck, and we'll take a look at Love of Buzz. But uh, Demand's attention was very well backed at its last start, got on the outside of Special Reserve, and was too good as they went to the line. Between horses, then looking for a run on the fence, you classy thing, but badly bailed away. Ranchers boy behind his heels, and then Alpine lad and last is king of the stall. Special reserve headed at the 250 by Demands Attention, blazing icon. Two lengths group memory, 175 out though. Demands Attention from Special Reserve, who's trying hard to rally, but Demands Attention's got the measure of her. And Demands Attention finishes too well, comes away, wins the last over the favourite, Special Reserve. I'm not sure at all about third. There's six of them there including group memory, changing lanes, Alpine Lad Hom, North Waterboy Ranchers Boy. Good win by Demands Attention. Marty, very dominant on that occasion. Um, the short price favourite uh, special reserve he proved too good for. Changing lanes, getting back in the field. A good run got within two lengths of the winner on the line but suggests he's looking for 14. Mm, OK. Um, Stratozoa on this occasion was trying to chase down Mr Diagnosis. Being ridden along in between horses Maximus Munius and last on the fence Mathele. Mr Diagnosis makes the turn at the 375 two in front of Drifter. A similar margin then Stratozoa. River Mist is under the persuader than Maximus Munius as they come to the 250 and Mr Diagnosis still with a handy lead more than a length Drifter. Stratozoa sticking to his guns well but it's still Mr Diagnosis. Stratozoa trying to haul him in. Mr Mr Diagnosis, Stratozoa lunging. Don't think he'll get there. Mr Diagnosis fell in from Stratozoa. Well, he was a fair way back on Stratozoa from the winner, Mr Diagnosis, on the bend. Marty made up good ground late. Fair to say he should have won? Yeah, well, in the end of the day, he probably uh, was a little unlucky to go down there and we've been waiting for his next run, so we'll get a chance to have a shot at him on Saturday. Hopefully. And our final horse to take a look at is Lover Buzz, and uh, this was a very good performance. Buzz going up now is extra three deep, having a shot, and they're being followed by Whoville High Zorobo at the 350, and Storm on by just being niggled at, tackled by Lover Buzz, a length and a half to extra, followed by Whoville High, then Zorobo. Lover Buzz reaches the lead down to the 150, got a half length, Storm on by, two lengths extra. Lover Buzz doing by far the better, starts to extend, and Lover Buzz ridden right out, draws away. Way to beat Storm on by third Zorobo. Well, he's had the 18 starts, but he looks like he's still learning what it's all about. Marty wanted to lay out a little bit around the corner then, but a good win in a small field. You did right there, Dion. I spoke to Bernadine Dudley after the race, and she described him as a slow learner. But uh, I think he's getting closer to really putting it all together, and that was off a very good trial win. And I think he's going to have a wonderful campaign. Let's have a look at selections, though, for race number seven. And again, I've gone with one changing lanes, but with a few reservations here. I think you're going to get a very good run out of eight demands attention and also 13 love a buzz. So come race day, they could all swing around. But one, eight and 13 as we speak. Well, number eight demands attention on top for me to win. I think he can beat number 13 love a buzz. And to run a third, uh, number two, Stratozoa.